Hey, it's me, Logan, from KidsCanMeditate.com, and I would like to tell you that this video is brought to you by Gallery Hope. Gallery Hope is a website where um, where all the, all the artwork from Meditate With Me is featured, and you guys should check it out. I think it's pretty cool. So now, um, Romans chapter 6. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin, that grace may abound? God forbid, how shall we, that we are deaf to sin, live any longer therein? How ye not know that so many of us, as were baptized into Jesus Christ, were baptized into his death? Therefore, we are burned, buried with him, by the baptism unto death. And it's like Christ was raised up, even from the dead, by the glory of the Father. Even so, we should also walk in the newness of life. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that, our, that the body of sin, of sin may be destroyed, that the henceforth we should not serve sin, for, the, for, the, for he is indeed is freed from sin. Now, if we be dead with Christ, we believe we shall also live with him. Knowing Christ being raised from the dead, death no more, death hath no more dominion over him. For in that he died, died unto sin once, but in he liveth, he liveth unto God. Likewise, reckon ye also ye ourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive through Jesus Christ our Lord. Let sin therefore reign in your mortal body, that ye shall obey in the, in the lusts in the lusts thereof. Neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourself unto God, and those that are alive from the dead, and your members in instruments of righteousness unto God. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. What then shall we sin? because we are not under the law, but under grace, God forbid. God know ye not, know ye not, that to whom we yield ourselves servants to obey, his servants ye are to whom ye obey, whether the sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. But God be thanked that ye were the servants of sin, but ye have obeyed from the heart, the form, the doctrine which was delivered to you. Being then made free from sin, ye speak of servants of righteousness. I speak after the manner of men, because the infirmity of your flesh, for ye has yielded of your members, servants to uncleanliness, and iniquity, iniquity to iniquity. Even so, now yield your members servants to righteousness unto holiness. For when ye were the servants of sin, ye were free from the righteousness. What fruit had ye then in those things whereof ye are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death. But now, being made free from sin, and becoming servants of God, ye have no fruit unto holiness, and the end everlasting life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Remember to check out gallerhope.com, the art of loving kindness, and the story of the Lord. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Seek Him as He is seeking you. Meditate, meditate, meditate.